we want to solve the quadratic equation x squared minus 10x plus 34 equals zero. Since there are no factors of positive 34 that add to negative 10, this is not factorable, and therefore we will use the quadratic formula to solve. However, if you look below, I also graph the corresponding quadratic function on the coordinate plane, and notice how the parabola does not intersect the horizontal or x-axis, which means there are no real x values that make the y value equal to zero, which means there are no real solutions to the given equation, and therefore, we can expect complex solutions. Let's begin by listing the values of a, b, and c, where a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant term. Remember, before we determine the values of a, b, and c, the equation must be set equal to zero. So again here, a is equal to one, b is equal to negative 10, and c is equal to positive 34. And I'll perform substitution into the quadratic formula. We have x equals, in the numerator we have negative b, which is negative and then negative 10, plus or minus the square root of the quantity b squared, which is the square of negative 10, minus four times a times c, which is minus four times one times 34. All this is over two times a, which is two times one. And now I begin simplifying. We have x equals the opposite of negative 10 or negative negative 10 is positive 10, plus or minus the square root of, the square of negative 10 is 100, and then we have minus four times one times 34 is 136, and this is all divided by two times one, which is two. Simplifying under the square root, 100 minus 136 is a negative 36, giving us x equals 10 plus or minus the square root of negative 36, all divided by two. The square root of negative 36 is equal to the square root of negative one times 36, we know the square root of 36 is six, the square root of negative one is i, this is equal to six i, which gives us x equals 10 plus or minus six i all divided by two. To simplify, let's break this up into two separate fractions, or the real part and the imaginary part. We would have 10 divided by two plus or minus six halves i, so we have x equals five plus or minus three i. So these are the two complex solutions. If we're asked to list the solutions, one solution is five plus three i, and the other is five minus three i. I hope you found this helpful.